Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Rishon, Chapter 1, Duff, Yud, Bet, Aleph, that's 12a. Elayi Amata, Varaba, Vuamre, but if you say that they would recite, that what they were, the blessing they were, would recite was with an abundant love, Varaba, my Brachot, Ema, Akvot, Zo, Et Zo, what is the blessings that are, uh, what does it mean that, uh, what is the proof that the blessings are not essential to one another? Perhaps the reason they did not recite who forms light, Yotzeror, uh, is because uh, the time for Yotzeror had not yet arrived. But then, what is, uh, but when the time comes for Yotzeror, uh, they would in fact recite it. The e miklalamai, and uh, by inference, what does this mean? The e miklala for if through inference, leolam that that it's not correct. Leolama va rapa havu amre. Then really, uh, what the koanim would recite was with an abundant love. Ava rapa vechi matazman yoteor havu amre le. And when the time for yotero uh, would arrive, they would recite it then. Umay brachot ein makvot zo edzo. So what are the what does it mean? Uh, that the blessings are not essential to another. Sede brachot, only that the order of the blessings is not essential. The Korin aseret hadibrot, and they would recite the Ten Commandments. Shma v'haya im shema v'yomer. Shma here, v'haya im shema, and it will come to pass if you'll hearken. V'yomer, and Hashem said, emet v'yatziv avodav v'kakainim, emet v'yatziv. Uh, that's the blessing of the service, the temple service, and the blessing of Kohanim. So they would continue with it after. Amar Rav Yoda Amar Shmuel. Rav Yoda said in the name of Shmuel, Ah Bagvulin Bikshul Likrot Ken. They wish to recite the uh, the um, Ten Commandments, even outside the temple. Ela Shekvas Bitzlum. But soon abolished this recitation, Mipnei Tarumet Haminin, because of the arguments of the heretics, that is, the idolaters. Tanya Namihachi was likewise taught in a Baraisa. Rabbi Natan Omer, Rabbi Natan said, Bag Vulin Bikshuli Krotken, they wish to recite the Ten Commandments in this manner. In the, uh, even in the provinces, Ela shkva bitlum mipnei tar umet haminin, but soon abolished them because of the idolaters. Raba bar barchana sva lemik be lepinehu besura. Rabbi bar barchana thought to institute the um, aserda debrot alongside in, with the shema in sura. Amale Rav Chista, Rav Chista said to them, Kavar bitzlom mipnei tromet haminin, but they already abolished their recitation because of the arguments of the idolaters. So how can we reinstitute it? Ameima sva lemik binehu bin har da'a. Ameima thought to institute the aserda di brot in the Shema in the Hadea. Rav Ashi said to him, Kavar bitzlom mipnei tromet haminin. Haminim. So they already abolished the, this because of the arguments of the heretics. I'll just scroll down. <clears throat> Starting from... Um Uba Shabbat Musafin, which is about halfway down the first section. Uba Shabbat Musi, Uba Shabbat Musifin, Musifin, sorry, Bracha Acha Le Mishma Hayotze, and on the Shabbos I would add a single blessing for the outgoing watch. My Bracha Acha, what was the single blessing they added? Ama Rabbi Chelbo, Mishma Hayotze Omer Le Mishma. Hanichnas, the outgoing watch would say to the incoming watch, Mi she shikain et shmo the one who caused 
who has caused his name to dwell in the house, who yashkin benechem ava vachva vashal verot, and may cause to dwell, dwell among you love, brotherhood, peace, and friendship. Makom shamar le'arich, in a place where they said to recite a lengthy blessing. Shita, it's obvious. Hecha deka nakit kasa dechamra beyadeha ve kasava de shichra ho. Where one takes a cup of wine in his hand, thinking that it is beer. And he begins the blessing with the intention uh, of uh, concluding on the, with the appropriate blessing for beer. But then he uh, realizes his error and concludes with a proper blessing for wine. He has discharged the, his obligation. For even if he had said through his word everything came to be, the wrong bracha, uh, as he originally intended, yatsa, he is discharged. Dehatznan, for we have learnt in the Mishnah, al kolami mama sheakol niyek bidvaro. On all food items, if one says sheakol niyek bidvaro, yatsa, he is discharged, his obligation. Ela, but, <coughs> reversely, Hecha dechar nakit kasad de shich rabbi yadeya ve kasava de chamra hu. One takes a cup of beer in his hand, thinking that it's wine. Patachu varicha adata de chamra. He begins the blessing with the intention of saying the bracha of wine. Vesem be de be be de shichra, but he concludes with the proper for be. My, what it, what do we do? Or what's the law there? Batari ka bracha azalinan. Do we follow the main part of the blessing? Which was said with the wrong intent, or bata chatima as linan, or do we follow the conclusion which ended up being correct? Tashma, come and learn. Shacharit in the morning, uh, in the morning to uh, morning prayers. Patach beyate or if one began uh, saying Shema, the first uh, the first blessing of Shema with uh, Yotzer or who fashions light, vesiem b'mari varavim, and then concluded and brings on evenings b'mari varavim. Lo yatzai is not discharged his obligation. Patach b'mari varavim. If he began with mari uh, varavim, brings on evenings. Ve'siem be'yotzei or, and he concluded with who fashions light. Yatzai he has discharged his obligation. Arvit in the uh, in the evening. Patach b'mari varavim. If one began uh, the blessing of the Shema with brings on evenings with mari varavim. Ve'siem be'yotzei or, but concluded with who fashions light. Lo yatzai, he has not discharged his obligation. Patach be or. If he began uh, with a wrong intention, uh, yotzer or. Vesim be mari varavim and concluded with mari varavim brings on evenings. Yatzai, he has discharged his obligation. Klalo shel davar. This is the general rule of the matter. Hakol halech acha hachitum. Everything follows the conclusion of the blessing. She'ani hatam. It is different there. So it's been... This is being rejected. Dekama baruch yotzer or hameorot. One says, uh, for one who says, blessed uh, uh, are Hashem who fashions the the light. Yotzer baruch yotzer or hameorot. Just scroll down. We're at the first wide line. Middle of the first white line. Hanichel Rav Dama. This fits well according to Rav, who said, "Kol bracha she'en ba has karat Hashem. Ein a bracha any blessing which does not con- include a mention of the name of Hashem is not a valid blessing." Shapir. Uh, this fits well. Ella the Rabbi Yochanan Dama. But according to Rabbi Yochanan, who said, "Kol bracha she'en ba malchut ein a bracha any blessing which does not include mention it does not include the mention of malchut." Uh, of kingship is not a valid blessing. What is there to say? Rather, since Rabbi Barula said, in order to mention the characteristic of day by night and the characteristic of night by day, when one initially recites the blessing, uh, that is, uh, 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 and so when one initially recites the blessing of kingship, at ravaihu kamar, he says it in reference to both of them, in reference to both the day and the night. 
Tashma Mesefa, Mesefa, come learn from the, from the last clause. Klalo Shel Davar, the general rule of the matter, Hakol Halecha Chachitom, everything follows the conclusion. Klalo Shel Davar, La Atuye Mai. What does it mean, the general rule of the matter? Uh, what does that include? Love la la tuye ha damran. Do we not presume to include this um, in the case involving beer and wine that we discussed above? Lo no la atuye nahama vetamre. So the clause comes to include uh, a case involving bread and dates. Hechi dame. What is the case that you are talking about? If you'll say that one ate bread but thought that he had eaten days, and he began, uh, and he began with his intent to recite a blessing for days, we're saying ma, but then remembered uh, and concluded with the appropriate blessing for bread. This is what we're talking about in our inquiry. Lo, shecha kegon da chal da tamre ve kasava nama chal. No, the general rule is necessary concerning a case where one ate dates but thought he had eaten bread. U fatach ve bid nahama ve sayem bid tamre. And he began with uh, an intention to set to bless the bread, and then uh, realized and concluded with a proper uh, blessing for dates. Yatsa. So he's discharged his obligation. Dafilu same bid nahama nami yatsa. For even if it concluded with a bread blessing, he also would have discharged his obligation um, for eating the dates. Maitama, what's the reason? The tamre nami mezan zaini is because dates also nourish a person like bread. Ama Rabbi Bar Chinana Sava Mishmei the Rav Rabbi Bar Chinana the elder says the name of Rav Kol Shalama Met Vayativ Shacharit. Whoever does not say the blessing emet ve'yatziv, true and certain, following the morning shema, ve'emet ve'emunu arvit, and emet ve'emunu, true and faithful, following the evening shema, lo yatsa yedei chavato, is not discharged its obligation, shne ma'afar it stated, la'agid babokya chazdecha ve'emunu techa ve'lelot, to relate your kindness in the morning and your faith in the nights. Vama rabba, rabba bar chinana, uh, Mishmei de Rav and Rabbi Bachin Chinana the Elder said in the name of Rav, Hamid Palalel, one who is praying Keshel Korea when he gets to what he where he's re- required to bow, Korea bevaruch he bows at the word blessed at Baruch. Oh Shehu Zokef and when he straightens up, Zokef Bashem he straightens up in the name of Hashem. Amar Shmuel Shmuel said, What is Rav's re- my Just begin that line again. Amar Shmuel Shmuel said, "My Tamad Rav, what is Rav's reason? Dichtiv, it's because it's written Hashem Zokev Kevufim. Hashem straightens the bend. Meitive, they challenged Rav. Mipnei Shmi Nichat Hu, he was humbled before my name, implying that in a humble position you're bowed. Meiktiv Bishmi, is it written uh, at my name? Mipnei Shmi Ktiv." It says, uh, no, he was humbled before my name is written. Shmuel said to Chia Barav, Bar Uryan, student of Torah, Tav Ema Lach Milta Maaliyata, Da Amar Avuch. Come, and I'll tell you an outstanding thing that your father Rav said. Hachi Amar Avuch. This is what your father said. Keshehu Korea. When a person. Uh, uh, in Shmon is required to bow. Koreo Vavaruch, he bows at, at Baruch, blessed Keshehu Zokef, and when he straightens up from his bowing, Zokef Bashem, he straightens up at the name of God.